Hello there, my crafty friends. This is Carrie with my friends call me Martha and I'm here with day three of handmade holiday gifts. And yes, I got that nickname after Martha Stewart um, because I do love to cook and obviously I love to be crafty. So I am here today with another little cute project for us. And I am using um, the little hand sanitizers that you can get from Bath and Body Works. Um, I wait for them to go on sale. I think they're like, you can get five for $8, um, but I wait for them to be like five bucks for five so that they're a dollar a piece. Um, so if you look for that, they do go on sale, I would say probably once a month. Um, so we are gonna make those today. So you're gonna need your paper cutter, trimmer, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and you're gonna start with a piece of cardstock because I'm going to be making ones um, with the winter candy apple, I'm going to use my real red cardstock. Um, sweet sorbet would also work really well with this. Um, and you're going to start with cutting your cardstock to be four and three quarters by three and three quarters. So four and three. Evie, quiet. My blade popped out. That's weird. There we go. All right, so four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I'm gonna do two. And then these little scraps are great for sentiment strips or cutting out some shapes. And that's kind of what I do in filling out my little bucket. <clears throat> All right, so now that we have those, we're gonna do our scoring. So the first thing you're going to want to do is this is considered the short side <clears throat> and we are going to score it at one inch. So again, make sure you're using your score blade and not your cutting blade and then two and three quarters. Then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at one inch. and two inches and I know it's gonna probably be hard for you to kind of see my cut lines you're not gonna be able to see but hopefully this is kind of a template that's already ready to go and we're done with our trimmer for the time being so let me see if I put a light my lighting, I know it's horrible. I know you guys have commented. Um, I have asked Santa Claus for some lighting for doing YouTube videos, so hopefully. So you can see here, that's my one inch, two inch. And then this one, it's actually one inch from each side. So sometimes it's easier for me to, I'll just do one inch and then I'll turn my paper and do one inch. All right, so we are going to cut along these short lines here I'm even having a hard time seeing and then what I like to do is um, on this piece I just cut off little um, like cutting off some of the excess so that it just it folds easier for me and you're not gonna see this so it doesn't have to be super pretty and then I'm going to turn it and do the same thing over here. So now those look similar. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make two of these. Oh, I didn't score this one. All right, so never mind. I'm not going to make this video longer than it needs to be. <clears throat> okay. So. Maybe if I put this in the frame, you guys will kind of see. So this is the back side. This is going to fold up in here and attach to that. And then this goes on the outside to make your little thumb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add adhesive to here. And I like to use liquid glue for this. You could use score tape or um, whatever you want. But I do like that the liquid adhesive gives me an extra second to kind of make sure I have it placed where I need it to be. 
and I'm just going to um, add glue to the one side. You don't want to do all your adhesive at once because then you'd be getting like glue all over yourself. So then I kind of put it here. I make sure that it's kind of where I want it to be. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to put glue on this side for those ones to kind of hook around the edge. And the glue does dry clear, so if you feel like you don't have it super straight. Um, sometimes when making them, I've had like a little piece here, and I will sometimes just cut it so that I know that it can sit straight. Okay, so that is our little container. And then to cut the angle sides, I just use a pair of scissors. So I start at this side and go to that bottom corner. Or you could start at the bottom and go to the top. And that's it. So then I stick my little pocket sanitizer in there. And now I need some string or some ribbon. So I am going to use real red. And I'm just going to kind of guesstimate, I do want to um, double knot it. So I'm probably giving myself too much ribbon, but it's better than it being too short. So then I stand it up, move it more in the frame here. Okay, so I actually, I'm going to stop right here, and I took this little die cut out of the pretty pillow box dies. Hold on one second, let me grab that. Nope, that's not it. I thought I had it right here with me. Anyways, it's the pretty p pillow box dies. Um, and I cut the tag out and then it also has these cute little flowers, which I actually have not used yet. So this is going to be a learning process. And I am going to hold this down with some washi tape so they don't move. And this is from the, oh, here's my die set. <laughs> The pretty pillow box. There's actually a lot of flowers. They give you four. Um, and then that's the little tag. I knew I had it close by. And then this is the red glimmer paper. It comes as a combo pack as six by six. And it's um, real red and white glimmer paper. And I just cut off what I needed. The washi tape doesn't really want to stick to the glitter paper. So this is my little mini cut and emboss machine, which I'm going to try to put in the... So I'm just going to have it roll through. It's going to shake my table a little bit, so I apologize for that. I'm going to try to minimize the shaking. And then I can put that aside. So these are super cute. I love these. They're very dainty though. Like, I feel like I could rip them. And because I wanted to make this like super special for today's video. Again, you can keep it simple if you have to make a ton of these. And I think I'm going to use the silver. And I was not sure. I think I'm not going to stamp a sentiment. I think I'm just going to um, glue one of these to the center. And again, I'm probably going to use my liquid glue. You could probably use a glue dot. 
or um, I am going to put it on all my little petals. Just a little dab. Okay, and now I'm going to first put my tag on and then hopefully I'll be able to weave the bell through. And I think this is going to be difficult. Let's see if I can use my take your pick tool to this is when fingernails come in handy. Oh, I got it. Yay. It's a good day. All right. So I got the little bell. I got a good knot. I'm going to tie another knot to make sure those are there. And then I'm going to do a little bow. Evie, come here, honey. She, I can hear the neighbor kids outside and she, of course, wants to go out there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my tails. Okay, now for one final little detail, I used a three-quarter inch by six-inch strip of, this is from the Sweet Candy Cane, set of paper and I think I'm going to stick with the real red side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add score tape or Terran, Terran tape? I don't even know what it's called. I don't know why that's difficult for me right at the second. I struggle with remembering the names of products. I'm usually pretty good with stuff but I don't know. With stamping up stuff I sometimes get confused. So and I do this just to try to keep my ribbon in place. So I start on the back because that's where I want my paper to end. And then I'm just kind of pressing it just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. So there you have it. What do you guys think of these? Um, I hope this gives you some inspiration for maybe making some handmade gifts this season. Um, I'd love for you to like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I am almost at 500, so that is a huge milestone for me. So again, I thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed today's crafty inspiration.